دمشق قادمون يا دمشق قادمون يا حما قادمون يا حما قادمون يا حما صدر دكتاتور لا رسول الله In late November 2024, a lightning offensive saw rebels take back control of Syria from the Assad government in the newest stage of a civil war that has been raging since 2011, seeing more than half a million deaths. Syrian army, backed by the control of the Assad government, with the powerful support of allies Russia and Iran, took control of the country over several years by 2016. It took just over a week for the rebels to take it back in 2024, after years of waiting. These Islamist rebels have now gone from a jihadist group, overshadowed by many others, to a major force that has begun to shift the power of the Middle Eastern region. We in the Military Operations Department stand up to our responsibilities to put an end to the transgressions of this criminal regime and protect our people. So who are Hayat Tahrir al-Sham? Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, also known as HTS, has had a storied history that charts back to the beginning of the Syrian civil war. <laughs> 2011 saw a large-scale uprising against the oppressive government of President Bashar al-Assad. <laughs> The HDS began as an offshoot of the Nazra Front, which was the official Al-Qaeda affiliate in Syria. Its ideology was rooted in the establishment of a strict Islamic rule across the Muslim world, one which saw them unafraid in engaging in brutal, effective combat. We are fighters dedicated to the support of the oppressed. The Syrians have been betrayed by the world. They have been under the guidance and leadership of Abu Muhammad al Julani, described as a militant leader who would later become Emir or commander of what would become Hayat Tahrir al Sham. In leading the charge, he would help the group forge their own path and identity, in opposition to more globally recognized groups as Al-Qaeda and ISIS, which he both fought for previously in Syria and Iraq. The U.S. State Department listed Al Julani as a specially designated global terrorist in May 2013, and four years later announced a $10 million reward for information leading to his capture. By 2016, after five years of civil war in Syria, several pivotal changes shifted the direction of the HTS. <laughs> Government forces backed by Russian airstrikes laid siege to Aleppo, eventually driving back any rebel forces and consolidating Assad control in the city. The Nazra Front would publicly cut ties with Al-Qaeda due to diverging jihadist agendas. The group adopted a new name, Jabat Fateh al-Sham, which means Front for the Conquest of the Levant, before merging with several other factions to officially become Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, or the Organization for the Liberation of the Levant. <laughs>
فبالقوة نقارع الظلم والطغيان والاحتلالات المتعددة على أرض الشام. Instead of a globalist agenda in line with Al Qaeda, HTS shifted its focus to issues specific to Syrians in all areas, with a primary focused goal of overthrowing the Assad government to establish Islamic rule in Syria. People who fear Islamic governance either have seen incorrect implementations of it or do not understand it properly. We are talking about something that aligns with the traditions and nature of the region. The most important thing is to build institutions. We are not talking about rule by individuals or personal whims. It's about institutional governance. Syria deserves a governing system that is institutional, not one where a single ruler makes arbitrary decisions. By 2017, HTS became the dominant force in Idlib, the final significant rebel stronghold in Syria. Over time, they solidified their control in the region, forming a quasi-governmental entity providing civil services and overseeing local affairs. They also made efforts to bolster a refined image away from human rights abuses, to engaging with humanitarian organizations to organize aid deliveries to the areas it controlled. The HTS also heightened their military capabilities with the establishment of a military academy to train new troops, as well as refining their army structure by creating a special forces unit skilled in executing coordinated strategic missions. Recent years have seen several more shifts in power in the region, which has allowed the HTS to begin planning their next move. The Assad government had become increasingly vulnerable due to economic deterioration and corruption. Within this saw a further reliance on their allies Russia and Iran. However, Russia and Iran would find themselves preoccupied by major conflicts with Ukraine and Israel. <laughs> No clear solution to the issues that plague Syria has only fueled resentment to the Assad government, proving to be the final straw needed to allow HTS to strike back and reveal their growth from a jihadist offshoot to a major force of power that could potentially shift the tide of the region. كل هذا الإنجاز من جهدنا ومن صناعتنا في غضون 11 يوم بفضل الله عز وجل تتحرر سوريا من شمالها إلى جنوبها ومن شرقها إلى غربها الحمد لله هذا مدد من الله عز وجل الحمد لله رأينا بأم عيوننا كيف أن عذابات 13 عاما تتعافى من خلال هذا النصر العظيم